All right, I'm back again. This is Matthew, and this is uh, Midwest of Gotham. Just finished uh, editing second part of my Christian video. On this one, we're showing off all of his art, some very cool abstract pieces, and I hope you like what uh, you're about to see. If so, um, you should be able to check out his Instagram, get in contact with him or me, and we can show you. We can put some of those cool piece of art in your home, office, uh, wherever. Um, it's always good to support um, local business, whether that's a local coffee shop or local artist, a local store, a local construction, because um, that's the way that um, regular people can get in and uh, and find their own way. That's not uh, corporate. And um, so, all right, so let's, let's go ahead and just dive right in. If you watched the first video, you know I'm gonna pick up exactly where I left off, where it's gonna show you some cool art and just and just get it rocking. All right, let's start the show. Well, let's go ahead and show people what, let's show people what, what Christian is about. So it looks like you've actually brought some pieces here. You want to take a little time and go through your pieces and show off what you're about. Just give people a scope of the kind of work that you're involved in, what you do and, and what's going on. Right. So, I mean, if you uh, look over to the right. Here, let me step out the way so you can show off your pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Grab that, uh, that one at the very end. So this one here is a perfect example of my 2016 pieces right here. Like it's it's very basic um, brush strokes. I used the uh, paint brush for this one, and this one's actually the first one I had up in an art gallery contest, and they actually took it. I couldn't believe it because it looks really. Um, How it looks really go? basic. Um, I did not win, but I okay. had my stuff up there. I was I was happy, you know. I was proud. People people liked it, you know. Uh, I can't believe they did. But it's just you know, it's just the the jump off for me right now. It's just the the come up type of stuff. And then you know, if you look to stuff right here now, um, I mean, I can just kind of pull it up. Like this is what I'm doing now. This is uh, 2018. You know, uh, just a little bit more advanced. This is after I found out that you can uh, do the acrylic pour, uh, stuff like that. So, I mean, I got a ton of pieces, man. I can, like, work with any type of color combination. Oh. Like, Let me ask you a question. Do you name your pieces? Not like, very seldomly. Okay. Very seldomly, I'll name it. I'll do it, uh, I'll name it just for a contest. Like, like this one right here, this is probably about my favorite piece. Uh, I call it outer space. It looks kind of just. I like that a lot. Yeah, it, it looks kind of like an outer space piece or whatever like that. I mean, but to somebody else, it could look like right, it, right, you know, whatever you want to call it. So, um, I had to name this one uh, just for a contest. I threw it in the contest or something like that. So, like this one right here. Something like this. this is like the biggest one I've ever done. These two right here. It's a 24 by 30, and I really like it. I, I love how the colors come together. And you just I like it. the camera kind of doesn't help. You gotta see it, you know, first person. Um, how the light hits, it, especially outside, it looks really beautiful. Um, you'll see the iridescent kind of come up off of it. Um, now let me ask you a question. You have a collection of pieces here. Do, are, do all these pieces, are they made the same way? Are they all acrylic, whatever you said? I don't know about art. Are they the same technique? Right, uh, well, the technique is different, but the materials kind of stay the same. Uh, this is acrylic, uh, like this, for instance, when I get these little like um, bursts of like, kind of like bubbly looking um, features on here, that's due to the silicone oil. So I'll use silicone on it and so that's what I do with most of my pieces now. Throw silicone oil on it, and it kind of like makes the uh, cells kind of pop out, like a piece like this one, like that. Like it'll, I don't know how to, yeah, I'll take this one. Um, it'll just give you different textures, so. That looks spacey. I mean, I know it's interpretive, but. Right, it's, yeah, yeah it's, it's whatever the person wants us to be. Like, it's, that's why I think it's so cool about it. It's, it's not really a defined picture, but it's just really cool colors. That's what I like about it. Hey, can I see some of this red stuff over here in oh, the yeah. corner? I like that. 
This is one of my favorites as well. Like, okay, so this one, for instance, is untitled because I have no type of title for it. It, it really didn't speak to me at first. I just really like the design and I can see this type of stuff uh, put up in hospitals or um, dentist, dentist office. Now, I don't need like you to that. give me the secrets to the, uh, to the secret sauce here, but are these brush strokes or are you pouring that or? Yeah, it's all pouring. When it comes to this stuff, it's pouring like, my 2016 piece that I just showed you, that's brush strokes. That's strictly like just putting the acrylic on the paintbrush and then just painting on the canvas. This stuff is like I'm mixing in the cup, pouring it on the canvas, and it just does what it does, basically. Now, let's just say, man, let's now. Okay, now this one, this is when you talk about texture. Like even if you want to touch it yourself, like you'll see the texture on it. That's what I'm using, uh, glass beads right there. You, you've placed beads in here? Right. I can feel it. Yeah. That's what I think is so cool about it. Yeah, I think it is really cool. And it's like, you can't even see it from far away. You wouldn't even think that it has anything. You on. really got to feel this, people. Mm -hmm. It feels, I don't know how to say it. I guess you got to experience it for yourself, but. It's like Braille or something. Yeah. yeah. Now we know that, like I said, uh, you aren't doing art for art's sake. I'm sure you have a passion for it, but you are trying to create a, a business and a brand for, for yourself. Is that correct? Um, just, yeah, trying to make some income. Just trying yeah, to establish right. myself, basically. So, yeah, yeah brand, if, if that comes up out of it, that's awesome as well. Um, if it becomes, like, me putting stuff on uh, things that's functional, like people put stuff on a, uh, on a little piece of tray and stuff like that, like if I could find functionality of it. Because the thing about art is that it's just, it's a it's a luxury piece. It's not a need, you know, for people to, to really have. It's a luxury piece. So if I could find a way, like I said, we'll put it on phone cases or, you know, coasters, things like that, I think that would be pretty awesome. Now, let me ask you a question. Like I said, you are trying to establish yourself in the community. So how much is your art? Like, let's say, how much is a piece like this? So that's 60 bucks right there. 60. What is your, do you have a price range? Do you have a variable range? I think this is great for 60 bucks. I've gone to, like I, we were talking off camera, is that I've been to art uh, art shows that you have to do your own art, the wine and paint's popular in Kansas City now. That's 30, $40 on your own with uh, you doing your own art. I think 60 for a piece this size is a fantastic price if you care about art. Art pulls you, you mean, like he said, you don't know why you like what you like, you just do. You don't know what colors draw you or whatever, so if you're drawn to it, I think a 60 buck price point is, is great for something like this. What, what, you wanna give us a scope of the price range on your pieces? Right, so like a piece like this, it's like just $25. Um, piece like this is $25. It's just small, so that's why I price it that way. I mean, the materials kind of stay the same. The material, uh, the medium isn't cheap at all. Uh, stuff like this, let me see. Something like this will be at least, I'll probably do it like for 40 bucks. Or, man, it's the best, you know, quality pieces, you know, to me. My right. Stuff is, my stuff is going to be quality. That's what you're going to get with my stuff is always you know, quality. Uh, this one has a lot of buzz on Instagram. That one has a lot of likes for some reason. It's not my favorite, but You know, this hey, reminds like me it. of if you're spacey at all, this actually reminds me of Jupiter. You yeah, know, the I, eye I mean, of Jupiter, right. Which I guess you can draw whatever and, you want to draw from it, but yeah, I, I, I like, like the, the texture too. on this too. Yeah. Yeah, I love how people come up with uh, their own interpretation of the pieces. That's like the favorite part. So, we'll cut this out, we'll come back. Which one? Oh yeah, this one right here. Yeah, this one I just did uh, not too long ago. When I just do this one, like probably two days ago I just did it. It's like my first one that's kind of like a different type of uh, shape. So that's what I mean. When somebody wants a certain type of canvas, they can um, they can definitely like just ask me to go out and, and get a specific type of canvas. I can paint on whatever type of canvas. Um, this looks like the kind of piece that would go above a door, mm -hmm. like, an, like an entranceway mm -hmm. or 
maybe something in your bathroom because of the design. Go long way. Yeah. Or whatever you want it to be. Uh, this one right here, I haven't even thought of a price for it. Uh, this like this is my first type of shape to do it like this. But it will do you be, negotiate? Be so yeah, I'll like yo, man, I gave you forty. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. I'm, I'm nobody. Uh, I'm not a famous person or anything like that. Like, man. stop. You are somebody. <laughs> uh, hey, it's you know no name to it yet. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you like it, that's that's what I like about it. If you like it, then you like it. Well, this show is all about this show is all about bringing attention to people who want to, um, who are doing things in the community, who have a story to tell, who want to do something positive. And I think that you that you identify all of those. So we want to give you, um, maybe we could buy a piece for the show. Maybe that would be exciting. That's, <laughs> hey, okay? yeah, hey, I'll take it. Yes, you know yes, I mean? sir. Uh, when my studio gets to a certain size, I start putting stuff up. I'm sure we can get a piece and just leave it up there, and you know we can just keep keep bringing attention to the uh, Christian brand. Awesome. Now, there's no point in doing this if we can't. The goal is to celebrate people. This is so we want to celebrate Christian today and the work that you're doing. So let's go ahead and real quick break down exactly before we leave what people can do to get in contact with Christian. So, like, let's say. Are you normally at First Friday? Is that random, or are you there every every First Friday? If the weather is nice, I'm out there. It's plain and simple. I'm out there. Like I'm gonna try to sell my stuff. So the weather's nice. I'm gonna be out there. About uh, what a time is that? Um, you can go down there anytime. I, I usually set up around like the midday. Like I'll try to get down there at least about three, four, some o'clock. Are you at the point in your career where you actually have a schedule yet? Like, are you here at the at the first Friday this time, the crossroads at this time, or whatever? Whatever. Are you still just trying to figure a niche, or do you have a, a rotation, a schedule? No, no schedule. I just kind of that. That's kind of like my Super Bowl, if you will, uh, mm -hmm. the first Fridays, because I can go out there and just uh, kind of showcase my art. Other than that, I'm just uh, trying to find online right. art contests to kind of enter into. Uh, I have one piece that's currently in a uh, art contest right, right. now, being uh, kind of reviewed or whatever, and so. That's just what I'm doing. I'm, I'm looking out for any type of opportunity to get my heart out there. Now you said your primary way to uh, for you to get it reached is, is on is on Instagram, correct? correct? Correct. Tell them one more time, and I'll flash it on the screen later. Uh, how do we get in contact with Christian's Instagram? All right. So like again, it's uh, one the number one of one art ninety four. Um, all you're gonna see is just quality pieces that you cannot duplicate on there, and I have my. Um, my Gmail on there, you can contact right. me that way. Like I said, it's just basics, you know, I'm not- Is your Gmail on there or is it? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's posted on there in the, um, in the little header of my uh, page. You wanna, you, if you don't mind giving to people, do you mind shouting it out so people can? Yeah, so the email is uh, one of one art 94 at gmail.com. Right yeah, nothing really special, uh, so it's just, it's that. Um, I'm not a store, I'm not a company or anything like that, so it's just like, just, you know, it's basically right. no middleman, I guess, so. You know, hey, you cut out the middle man, pass the savings on to you. Yeah, right. <laughs> right on, my man. Well, we're, we're, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. As always, this is. Oh, uh, Christian Ash, one of one art. That's all it. Right. I'm Matthew. I'm from I'm from Midwest of Gotham. I want to thank you. Uh, thank you all for stopping by. And uh, Christian, we will have some of his art on the show real soon. Please take a moment check out check out his his Instagram. If you want more information on how to reach Christian, please put any any of your comments in the comments so we can go through it. And I can pass on all information to him, and we'll have a uh, we'll have another story for you real soon. All right, guys. Peace. Hey everybody, what's up? And that's it. That's my interview with uh, Christian Nash. Uh, he's a young man out there doing his thing, trying to create some art. And I really appreciate you watching this video and you going to check out his Instagram to check him out. You can always find Christian at one of one art 94. And he's just a young man trying to do his thing. I think he's very talented. I think the interview, he was a little low key. Uh, I think he's got a way more going on for himself than um, he brought out on the show that could just be him trying to be humble, but I'm not humble. I didn't start a YouTube channel because I'm humble. So I do think that you should, you should go check him out. He's very positive. He's got some great art on there, and um, I think you should support him. Just by watching this program at all means that you actually support uh, content creators, and um, this is one way that he's out there making his way, and we all have to make our way in the world. I saw a truck yesterday on the back of the truck had a bumper sticker that said, uh, Dirty Hands Clean Money.
And that's what this is. You know, um, he's uh, out there using his knowledge, his resources, uh, and his own talent to, to make his way in the world. So I highly recommend you stop by his page, looking free, and, and just check it out. If you like it, you like it. If not, at least give him a like. Just, uh, just support his effort in doing things the right way. As always, my name is Matthew. I'm from Midwest Gotham. I'm in the show by saying that um, today is the best day of my life. And it doesn't make sense, uh, but I'm going to make a video and I'm going to tell you why. But um, I've gone through some changes in the last couple of weeks, um, which is kind of why I've been off the air. And uh, some really positive changes for my life. It shows how you can uh, turn some things that are negative, make them into positive, and just believe me, whether you watch that next video or not, today really is the best day of your life. And um, maybe one day that'll make sense. Anyway, guys, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.